Welcome back to Brain Bite Size. Have you ever wondered what happens when you finally decide to break free from a narcissist's grip? Stay tuned as we dive into the unexpected aftermath and how it can transform your life. The decision to discard. It begins when you see through the facade of charm and manipulation that has clouded your reality. This moment is pivotal, it's when you recognize that the cycle of emotional highs and lows you've been experiencing is not a normal or healthy part of a relationship but rather a deliberate tactic of control and abuse. As you reach this understanding, a sense of clarity emerges. You begin to recall the instances where your boundaries were crossed, your emotions were toyed with, and your needs were consistently ignored or belittled. The pattern becomes unmistakable, and the realization that this isn't just a rough patch but a fundamental issue with the narcissist's behavior becomes undeniable. Narcissist's reaction. Initially, they are caught off guard. Accustomed to being in control, the narcissist perceives your departure not just as a loss of a partner but as a critical blow to their ego and self-image. They've built a facade of invulnerability, and your decision to leave cracks in it reveals their deep-seated insecurities. In a frantic attempt to regain control, the narcissist may first resort to what's known as love bombing. This is where they shower you with affection, promises of change, and gestures that hark back to the early days of your relationship. It's a calculated move to tap into your emotional vulnerabilities and doubts, making you question your decision to leave. The smear campaign. This is a tactic narcissists use to maintain control and protect their fragile ego. They can't handle the rejection and the damage it does to their self-perceived grandiosity. So, they resort to what they know best, manipulation and deceit. In this smear campaign, the narcissist will start spreading rumors and half-truths about you. They might reach out to your friends, family, and even colleagues, painting a picture of themselves as the victim and you as the villain. It's a twisted narrative crafted to isolate you and damage your reputation. They'll often exaggerate or completely fabricate stories, all to gain sympathy and support from those around them. Moving on. They move on quickly, but not out of genuine affection or a deep connection with someone new. Instead, their rapid attachment to a new person is driven by an urgent need for validation and attention, elements they lost when they stepped away. This new relationship is typically a rebound, a hasty attempt to fill the emotional void left by your absence. It's crucial to understand that this doesn't reflect your worth or how quickly they've gotten over you. Rather, it's a testament to their inability to be alone and the constant need for someone to validate their ego. The new person in their life often becomes a tool in their arsenal, used to provoke reactions from you and to maintain a sense of control over your emotions. They might flaunt this new relationship, using social media or mutual acquaintances as conduits to ensure you're aware of their new partner. This behavior is designed to make you feel replaced and insignificant. Still, it's important to recognize it for what it is, a reflection of the narcissist's insecurities and need for attention. Your empowerment. This period is all about rediscovering and reaffirming your sense of self. It's a time to reconnect with who you are, independent of the narcissist's influence and manipulation. Imagine it as a rebirth, a chance to start anew with a clearer understanding of your values, desires, and boundaries. During this phase, rebuilding your self-esteem takes center stage. Remember, the narcissist may have tried to erode your confidence and self-worth, but now, free from their shadow, you have the opportunity to rebuild yourself stronger than before. Engage in activities you love that remind you of your talents and passions. Surround yourself with people who uplift you and see and appreciate the real you. Your story doesn't end with the narcissist, it begins anew. If you've experienced this journey, share your story in the comments below. Let's support each other in our paths to healing. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Brain Bite Size for more insights into the human mind. Until next time, keep taking those bite-sized steps to a healthier you.